he's only protecting himself. Is that what you think he's doing? I mean, what else can it be? Withholding intimacy when I need it most? Refusing to listen? I mean, if he can't give me what I need now, what hope is there for our future? Are you sure you can't talk to him about any of this? Believe me, I've tried. But you just keep going around in circles. You never know. Alex might surprise you. Maybe he's a changed man. I need to talk to you back at the flat. The hell are you doing here? I can't believe this. Sneaking behind my back to meet her, of all people. I wasn't sneaking behind your back. I'm... How dare you follow me? You lied to me. You told me you were meeting a friend. Brooke is a friend. Oh, Brooke now, is it? You're only doing this to get to me. Steady on. I mean, how warped is that? Preying on a sick and vulnerable woman. I'm not preying on anyone, and you better think twice before shooting your mouth off. Alex, listen to me. I asked her for a coffee. It doesn't matter. She's bang at order. But you told me to find someone to talk to. Someone who understood what I was going through. Yeah. And I met an old pal or a therapist or something. I, I don't get this. Where's the loyalty? Why are you getting so worked up about Karen talking to a copper? Someone got a guilty conscience. No, my conscience is all clear, but you, you should be ashamed of yourself. Are you okay? You keep out of this. I am done talking about this in front of her. Let's go. You need to back off. And you need to mind your own business. No, just stop. Look, I'm coming. Oh, Karen. What's the matter? Phone the doctor. Should have taken her to A&E. Karen didn't fall or bang her head. She probably just fainted. How is she? Well, her blood pressure's back to normal now. Don't worry, she's gonna be fine. The cancer treatment really takes it out of her, so a wee bit TLC wouldn't hurt. I told her to take it easy, but she wouldn't listen. The best thing to do is to keep her stress levels down and make sure she stays calm. And I'll pop back tomorrow and I'll see how she's doing. Right. Thanks, Doctor. Thanks, Doctor. I can't believe you're blaming Karen for this. In five seconds to get my home before I lodge an official complaint. You need to get a few things into that thick skull of yours first. Get out. You know, you're no good for Karen right now. She's better off without you. And what happened today? was all your fault. <laughs>